What is happening, BC Spirit? Spirit of Day number 28. Um, funnily enough, I just thought of realized this before I did, uh, before I started this episode, that the very first Spirit of Day was actually from Alchemist Distillers as well. So today we're doing their Green Frog Absinthe, which I really, 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 really enjoy. Um, I haven't done an episode with these guys. They came out after the Absinthe, Absinthe episode. Absinthe uh, episode was like number two, I think, of the weekly episodes. Um... So I haven't actually done a episode with their absinthe in particular, but I thought I'd crack it out and uh, give it a go as a spirit of day. Try it out. Um, I've tasted this as well, so I know exactly what I'm looking for. Now, if you remember, oh, if you remember the very first spirit of day, I was talking about the crazy sort of distillation setup they have at Alchemist with a, a big glass tube full of copper rings to uh, have that. Um, that spirit, spirit vapor and copper um, relationship. Relationship? No, I'm trying to look for a better word for that. It'll come to me. Um, but it, uh, they do some great stuff. Everything's apple based, which is fantastic. Um, Simon, the distiller, is uh, French, I believe. So you know he's going to do something good. Color wise, it's it's very very light in color, which is fantastic. That's always a good note. The great thing I love about this is you get the apple like distillate in all their products, which is fantastic. Now, 65%, you wouldn't normally drink absinthe straight in any way, shape, or form. Um, whew, unless you're doing shots at a club. Oh, that apple is fantastic. You get everything you get want from a absinthe. The knees, the licorice, the, all the botanicals, the wormwood, the whole shebang. Um, but that apple is just sensational. That apple backbone is just sensational. The reason why I'm pouring myself another little bit, because I don't usually, is... Got some water. So, if you make a good absinthe, it should luge. And lugeing means that when water's added, it goes cloudy. So, everything reacts with the water. Dissolved uh, oils become, make it cloudy. Usually this is the best way to drink it. If you remember the Rocky episode with Ulka Rocky from Mad Lab, I did the same thing. Oh, with water, it just lengthens out everything. Um, you gain much more of that apple note, but then you gain much more dry botanicals on the palate with the, the brightness of the, the anise and the, the licorice still sitting there on the, top of your, on the top of your mouth. But on the palate, you gain apple, dry herbs, like your wormwood and that sort of thing. And then the beautiful like licorice, the classic licorice uh, and star anise on the top palate. So... Spirit Day number 28, I'm really glad that I did this one for you guys. The Green Frog Absinthe from Alchemist in Summerlin. Go check it out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.